Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss the Konigsberg Bridge Problem. Now the Konigsberg Bridge Problem is a practical application of graph theory. Now before I actually come to the Konigsberg Bridge Problem, let me give you an overview of what graph theory is all about. Now graph theory is a branch of mathematics or it is a field of mathematics which deals with diagrams which are called graphs. And as far as a graph is concerned, a graph has two basic components, vertices and edges. Vertices are points and edges are lines joining those points. So whenever you have a graph in graph theory, a graph, whenever you take a graph in graph theory, then a graph in graph theory will always have two basic components, vertices and edges. Now that we know what a graph is, coming to an example of a graph, the following figure is a graph in which there are points and lines. The points, as I said, they are called vertices mathematically and the lines are called edges. In this particular graph, there are six points or six vertices which have been labeled as A, B, C, D, E, F and there are lines joining these points and these lines are edges. For example, if we take vertex A and vertex B, vertices is the plural form of vertex. So if we take vertex A and vertex B, then we can see there is a line joining vertex A and vertex B. So that is an edge of a graph of this particular graph. Then again, if we take vertex B and vertex C, then again there is a line joining vertex B and vertex C. So that is again the edge of the following graph. So likewise, we have uh, different edges and different vertices in this graph and in any graph that you take in graph theory. Now coming to the Konigsberg bridge problem, which is the problem that we had to discuss in this video lecture. Now the Konigsberg bridge problem is a historical problem of the year 1736. Now going back to the history of this problem, in 18th century there was a city called Konigsberg, which was the capital city of East Prussia. Today Konigsberg is the westernmost city in Russia. Now through the city of Konigsberg flowed a river called River Pregel. Now this River Pregel branched uh, itself into branches and it divided around the Nipo Island. It, it branched itself and uh, the river Pregel divided the, uh, the Konigsberg city in four land masses. As you can see in the figure, these four land masses, I can just label them as A, B, C, D so that you can make out the four land masses. Now these four land masses A, B, C, D which have been labeled as A, B, C, D were joined by seven bridges which you can see they are in green color. So uh, this is how the, the, the map of the Konigsberg city uh, looked like in the year 1736. Now, at that time, uh, people used to wonder, is it possible to start uh, from, uh, there was a question that uh, came in people's mind at that time, that is it possible to start from any of the four land masses, A, B, C, D, is it possible to start from any of these four land masses and uh, move along the seven bridges exactly once and come back to the same land, land mass which one started with? So this was a question that came in people's mind that is it possible to start one's journey or start, start one's travel from any one of the four land masses and then travel along all the seven bridges exactly once, once and exactly once and come back to the same land mass which one started with. So this question which came in people's mind was uh, translated into a mathematical problem, into a problem of graph theory. And then it was answered by a mathematician called Euler. And uh, of course, the, uh, the answer which the mathematician Euler gave to this problem was a no. But uh, this problem was uh, finally answered by the mathematician Euler, who is known as the uh, father of uh, modern graph theory. And this uh, uh, answer was given by translating this whole question which came in people's mind into a problem of graph theory. And uh, this was done by converting this, uh, this bridge uh, um, map into a, a, a graph and then uh, solving the problem. So what uh, Euler did was he converted this uh, whole figure in the form of a graph and uh, corresponding to the because in a graph there are two basic components as I already said vertices and edges so the vertices in those uh, in that graph the corresponding graph were a b c d corresponding to the four land masses there were four vertices and these uh, four vertices or four land masses were uh, connected by edges and the edges corresponded to the seven bridges so edges corresponding to the bridges the edges were same as the bridges and uh, the vertices 
were same as the land masses so because there were four land masses into which the city had been divided so there were four vertices and because there were seven ridges in the whole city so there were seven edge, uh, edges and uh, this is how the graph was formed so this is the another way of uh, viewing the uh, konigsberg uh, bridge problem this is the diagram of the konigsberg bridge problem a b c d a b c d are the four land masses and these four land masses are connected by seven bridges so because there are four land masses so correspondingly there are four vertices and these vertices are correspondingly labeled as a b c and d and because there are seven bridges so there will be seven edges in the corresponding graph between a and c we can see that there are uh, two uh, bridges so between vertex a and vertex c there are two edges again between vertex uh, a and vertex b there are two bridges so between between a land mass a and land mass b there are uh, two bridges so between vertex a and vertex b there are going to be correspondingly two edges between uh, a and d the land mass a and land mass land mass d there is a bridge so between vertex a and d correspondingly there is a uh, there is an edge and again between c and d there is one bridge so between vertex c and vertex d there is one edge and between land mass b and d there is one bridge so between vertex a and vertex between vertex b and vertex d there is one edge so this is the corresponding graph and now the question was the question which came in people's mind was is it possible to start from a vertex and uh, travel through all the bridges exactly once and then come back to the same vertex Uh, or is it possible to start from one land mass rather because this is the question which came in people's mind that is it is is it possible to start from one land mass and travel through all the bridges exactly once and then come back to the same land mass which one started with now if you translate this whole question in the form of uh, a problem in graph theory this is since this is the corresponding uh, graph so the question in graph theory becomes is it possible to start from any one vertex out of uh, these four vertices a b c d is it possible to start from any one vertex travel through all the seven edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 once and exactly once and come back to the same vertex so this is the question is it possible to start from a vertex in the given graph and travel through all the edges exactly once and reach back the same vertex and now this question again can be rephrased in terms of what is called a eulerian circuit there is a concept of eulerian circuit that we have in graph theory now a eulerian circuit is a sequence of edges that we have in graph theory which starts from a vertex and it goes through all the edges in the graph once and exactly once and it comes back to the same vertex which one started with so such a circuit is called a eulerian circuit so eulerian circuit is that sequence of edges in a graph which starts from a vertex and ends at the same vertex and it goes through all the edges of the graph once and exactly once so if we rephrase this problem this particular problem uh, in terms of eulerian circuit the problem becomes Uh, in this particular graph which corresponds to the konigsberg bridge problem is it possible to have a eulerian circuit in this graph so that is the uh, that is the simple question which one has to answer and as i have already uh, answered uh, that uh, i have already told that this particular uh, question this particular problem was uh, solved by uh, the mathematician euler Oh, and the answer that he gave to this problem was no this means that it is not possible to have a eulerian circuit in this particular graph it is not possible in this graph to start from a vertex and travel through all the seven edges exactly once and come back to the same vertex so a eulerian circuit is not possible existence of a eulerian circuit is not possible in this graph and how was the ration euler uh, reach at this conclusion now the answer for this is a result that we have in graph theory there is a result which has been used to come to this conclusion and that result is that in a graph g the result goes like this in a graph g g has g has a eulerian circuit g has a eulerian circuit if and only if if and only if two conditions are satisfied the first condition is that if and only if g is connected and the second condition is that the degree of degree of every vertex the degree of every vertex in g is even 
Now this is the result that has been made use of to come to the conclusion or come to the answer of the Konigsberg bridge problem. Now uh, the uh, now what is this result? Basically, this result says that if you have that G is a graph. and uh, th this graph g will have a eulerian circuit eulerian circuit as i already mentioned eulerian circuit is that sequence of edges uh, in the graph it starts from a vertex it goes through all the edges uh, of the graph once and exactly once and it uh, returns back to the same vertex which one started with so such a circuit is called a eulerian circuit so a graph g has a eulerian circuit if and only if if and only if means that this result is true both the ways the converse is also true so a graph g has a eulerian circuit if two conditions are satisfied that the first condition is that g must be connected which means that the graph must be in one piece it should be present in one piece in layman's language this simply means that graph should be seen as one piece there should not be the graph should not have more than one piece a, uh, if a graph is uh, for example uh, at the top corner you can see if you have a graph like this uh, let's say this line is also a part of the graph and there is another part of the graph so let's suppose there is a graph which is a uh, uh, which is which is uh, which has three parts one part is this the other is this and the third part is this so if there is a graph having three pieces so such a graph is not a connected graph because it's not a, a graph in one piece so a graph is said to be connected if it is in in one piece in layman's language so uh, so the first condition is that g must be connected and the second condition is that the degree of every vertex degree of every vertex must be even now what do you mean by degree of a uh, vertex now if there is a graph Uh, suppose there is a graph like this suppose there is a graph like this suppose uh, there is a graph and suppose this is one vertex this is another vertex and this is the this is another vertex this is another vertex this is another vertex and this is another vertex now as far as this particular vertex is concerned which i am tick marking if you see that this particular vertex on this particular vertex there are three edges which are falling there are three edges which are incident so the degree of this vertex is 3 so and if the if you take the degree of this vertex it is 2 the degree of this one this this particular vertex is 3 again the degree of this vertex is 2 the degree of this vertex is 2 so likewise so the degree of a vertex is the number of edges falling on it or the number of edges incident on it so the degree of every vertex must be even that is the second condition so coming back to the result a graph g has a eulerian circuit if and only if g uh, is connected this is the first condition and the degree of every vertex is a even number now going back to the and the as i said the converse of this result is also true so if graph g has a eulerian circuit then these two conditions will be true and if these two conditions are true then the graph has a eulerian circuit both the ways the result is true now coming to this uh, uh, particular graph which corresponded to the konigsberg bridge problem now the degree of vertex uh, a is uh, 5 because 5 uh, edges are incident on it degree of vertex uh, c is 3 because 3 uh, uh, edges are incident on it degree of vertex b is 3 three edges are incident on it and degree of vertex d is also 3 we can see that all the vertices are of odd degree and uh, the the condition and uh, of course this graph is a connected graph so it is in one piece so it is a connected graph although so although the first condition this one is satisfied but this one is not being so this means that this particular uh, condition is not being satisfied uh, so um, although the degree of every vertex must be even but here we can see uh, that uh, um, uh, that here uh, every vertex is of odd degree so even if you find one vertex which is of odd degree then the graph will fail to have a eulerian circuit here all the vertices are of odd degree this is 5 this is 3 uh, this this has degree 3 and this has degree 3 which means that this particular graph which corresponded to uh, the konigsberg uh, bridge problem this uh, is this cannot have a eulerian circuit because uh, the two conditions uh, for a graph uh, to have a eulerian circuit the two uh, necessary and sufficient conditions are not being satisfied uh, which means that the corresponding konigsberg bridge problem uh, doesn't have a eulerian circuit because the graph doesn't have a eulerian circuit which means that it is not possible for a person to start from 
one landmass here if we take a look at this uh, graph then it is not possible for a person to start it is not possible to start from a vertex uh, any vertex out of a b c d any any of the four vertices a b c d you can start from any vertex it's not possible to start from any of the four vertices and uh, go back go and travel through all the seven uh, edges of the graph exactly once and reach back the same vertex it's not possible if we look at graph theory then we can say this and if we if we look at this result from graph theory point of view if we look at the conclusion from graph theory point of view this is what we get and if we look at this the answer to this question then this is what we have it's not possible for a person to start from any of the uh, four landmasses any one of the four landmasses a b c d and uh, come back to the same landmass by traveling through all the seven bridges exactly once so the answer to the konigsberg bridge problem is a known uh, that way so that was all about the konigsberg bridge problem